Okay, the first thing you're going to do is go to Google and Google Crucial RAM. They have a little test, make sure you have the right specs and they're going to recommend the right sticks that you need for your RAM. Click on it and if you look to the side, you see where it says find 100% guaranteed compatible upgrade. Click scan computer and then agree to the terms. You can read the terms there if you need to read them and start your free scan. It's a little a little program and what it does, it pulls the specs on your computer and tells you exactly what you have and what you can upgrade to. Mine came with 16 gigabytes and it's upgradable to 64, but today I'm going to add 32 gigabytes extra, making it a total of 48. As you can see, it's done here. Let me close this. And here's my information. And my computer is a HP Compact NBTE T E one 1154 And if you scroll down, you're going to have more information. As you can see here, this is the upgradables. This is what my computer currently has. I installed the RAM before I made this video, so I'm going to show you how to do it after this. Mine is upgradable. It has a maximum memory of 64 gigabytes. So right now I'm at 48 and if I need to upgrade to 16, that's what I'm going to do. Take out the 16 and then upgrade it to uh, another 32, which will make it a total of 64 and everything should be good and run smooth. When you are working online or working from home or making money online, you run a lot of software. So you definitely need as much memory as you can. I couldn't do it no more with 16. You know, I would run multiple softwares. I have so many windows open. Sometimes I have 50 windows open and my computer would just lag. So this is something that I needed to do. And if you want to be productive, you might have to do it. So make sure that you know exactly what your specs are and what kind of RAM you need. So like I said, when I'm done, I'll add another 32 gigabytes if needed, but I think 48 will be plenty enough. On the side here, there's other information, your storage. My computer has uh, one terabyte, I think. And yep, that's what it says there, 953 of usable gigabytes. And you can always upgrade this stuff, but for now we're just gonna upgrade the RAM. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go up and see which RAM stick we need. Click buy now. And it's gonna take you to the RAM page for the one we need. We're going to copy some details. So what you do is you click on the, the product page and we're going to copy some information from there. All right, here on the right, as you can see, this is the one we need. We're going to copy that and we're going to take that to Amazon. As you can see here, it's $142. It's about four or five days shipping. That's a little too long and there's just extra money we don't need to pay, but we can get this cheaper on Amazon. So we're going to go up here, put this in the search bar. Okay, we're going to scroll down. The first two are sponsored. We're going to go right here to where it says Crucial RAM, 32 gigabytes DDR4, 3200 megahertz. That's my computer. And then as you can see, the numbers C2, C, CT32G, and up here it matches C32G. Make sure those numbers match. We're going to click it. It has 20,000 uh, reviews. So they've sold a ton of this stuff. Click the 5% uh, percent off. This is the one you're going to order, and this is uh, 32 gigabytes. And remember, each slot holds 32 gigabytes with 34, uh, 64 gigabyte maximum. That's for my computer. That's the HP Envy. Let me go back and uh, show you which one this works for. A lot of times, these gigabytes work on multiple computers. But, you know, like I said, you have to make sure you run this test to make sure you have the software. And this is 100%. Uh, Accurate, they say, so with a guarantee. And if it's not, you send it back and get the right one. This is the product number. Let me see if I find my desk. Mine is the HP Compact NB TE01-1154. So that's how you do it. You get on Amazon. You make sure you click that 5% if, if it's available. And it's free delivery. I got mine the next day. I ordered it in the night. I got it in the morning with the regular mail. And it was like with tax, maybe $130 something dollars. So this is how you do it. So you know, if you have any questions, let me know. And this is a good way to stay productive. You know, if you're going to work online, you're going to be using a lot of software. And if you're building websites, you're going to have a lot of windows open and you definitely need the memory to work. Because if not, the more windows you open, the more software you run, uh, the more your computer is going to lag and the less productive you're going to be. Now I'm going to show you how to install this thing and how to do it the correct way. Envy TE01-1154. It's an Intel iCore 7, you know, the more memory and the more RAM you have, the better. 
This one came with 16 gigabytes. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to hit the button here and hold it for about 15 to 30 seconds after everything is unplugged just to make sure there isn't any static electricity inside. This is what the manufacturer recommends. So we're going to do that here. Um, like I said, it was a 16 gigabyte, which is good, you know, but not enough for me. I work online. I build websites. I run software. I run video software and it's just not enough. So definitely want to upgrade it if you want to be productive. If you look in the back here, you'll see one screw that we have to loosen up. Uh, you can do it with a flathead screwdriver or there's like a star uh, bit I have in my home. I totally forgot to bring them. So I am going to loosen this with a pair of pliers because I left my flathead at home. So there's three ways you can open this. But I, I suggest using the, the flathead because you don't want to scratch any of the paint. As you can see, I scratch a little pieces by using this, but I'm fine with that. So we're going to screw this out and then we're going to turn it on the side. Once you turn it on the side, this should slide out pretty easy. Let me fix the camera here. And then this slides right out. Set that to the side and you'll be able to see the RAM sticks right there. As you can see, they're, they're pretty easy to get to. Uh, there's nothing blocking it. And like I said, this one has 16 gigabytes. It can be expanded to 64, but this one has a 16. And then there's an empty slot next to it. So I'm gonna put a 32 gigabyte slot to add to the 16, which will make it 48. If you wanna do the whole 34, you would take out the, the 16 and replace that with a 32 gigabyte too. So this one is the crucial RAM, the 32 gigabyte DDR4. As you can see, the numbers match up with the, when I ran the scan, it gave me the numbers exact stick that I need. I got it off of Amazon. It only took uh, less than a day. I got it the very next day with the morning mail. And I headed to the office, and like I said, I forgot the screwdriver. So open the package, you know, try to open it right. Don't rip it up just in case you got the wrong one or they sent you the wrong one. You want to be able to send it back. Amazon lets you uh, send it back right away, and I think they pay the, the shipping. So you're going to try to put them in the slots and make sure you don't jam them in there. And make sure it fits. There's a slot in the bottom, and make sure it runs parallel to the other one. As you can see, the, the breakers are, are facing me. And open these little white things. These little these little clips, open them on both sides. And that's what's going to hold it into place. So when you push it in there, that thing is going to lock on itself. But when you're pushing it in, don't, don't jam it in there. Try to get it as smooth as you can. You know, sometimes it can be a pain in the butt. And then it doesn't always go in the way it's supposed to. But with a little pressure, you'll hear the click and it'll go right in. So I'm going to go ahead and work this. I'm not going to push too hard. Cause I don't want to break anything. I don't want to jam anything or, or destroy the RAM stick. So as soon as it goes in, you'll hear a click. Oh, that's the right side, the right side click. Now I'm having trouble with the left side. So I'm just going to take my time and push it in there. Right. And then that little white clip will close in on itself. Whatever you do, don't force them in there. Cause you don't want to ruin anything. There it goes, it clipped in. As you can see, it's clipped in through the middle. There's a little slot in the middle of it. And that's what holds the, the thing. And the left side is also clipped in right. They fit in perfect. Yeah, they fit both perfect. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go put the, the side back on. Now the side can be a little tricky. Again, don't force anything, you know, try to work with it. And if it doesn't go in easily, then pull it back out until you can slide it in good. It doesn't matter how many times it takes you. Just do it the right way and don't force anything because you don't want to bend anything and you don't want to break anything. So as you can see, I'm here struggling with it. I'll do is I just keep pulling it out. Just keep pulling it out. Don't force it. it. doesn't go in. Pull it back out. Let's try this again. Still giving me trouble. Try it again. And there it goes, slid right in. Easy, always do it the easy way, never force anything. And we're gonna tighten that screw back up again. As I said, I forgot my flathead screwdriver, so I'm gonna use the pliers and you should use the screwdrivers. That way you don't scratch any paint off. As you can see, I scratched a little paint from using that pliers, but like I said, I'm okay with it. We're gonna tighten this up and once this is tightened up, you're good to go. Plug in the plugs, your USBs, everything you have 
and if you go to your system's properties on the computer you'll see that the rams have been upgraded mine was upgraded to 48 and if i need more i'll just replace the 16 with a 32 so you guys have a good one